you obviously all toured last year, yeah. and so what, are you going to get together again? Because we read so many rumours, and I every know. time we see any of you, it's like, oh, are you, because I, I know you're all so busy. And there's rumour well, now that you're going to be at the opening ceremony of the Olympic of the Olympics. Yeah, I don't know. That's one of those real fabricated <laughs> things from the press when you're like, where's that come from? Is it right that you guys might be reforming for the opening ceremony of uh, you know, the Olympics in 2012? We've heard well, a rumour. These are, these are rumours that I've been hearing. Obviously, yeah. how amazing would that be? Uh, I, I would love it, personally. But yeah. Um, I, yeah, it's just a rumour. I mean, uh, it hasn't been spoken about between us or anything like that. So, um, Do you but, call each other up when you hear things like that or not? You're just kind of like too cool. No, like, uh, the thing is, I, I spoke to Malsey the other day. I'm seeing uh, Victoria on Sunday. You know, we generally, when we get together, we just have a gossip. We sit down, have dinner. You know, we don't kind of always mm. talk about ourselves. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, there's lots of stories around about the Olympics in 2012, and mm -hmm. your, you know, the Spice Girls obviously get linked with that. Yeah. Is there any truth? Do you think you'll be there in London next year? Unfortunately, not. No, it's it's something that I mean, I've never been approached about it, um, and I'd love to do it. You know, don't want to be corny, but I'm a big fan of sport. You know, I always have been, and the Olympics is such a big deal. I remember growing up and you know watching it as a kid, and to have it in our country is fantastic. So I'd love to be there and be part of the event. There's still time, you never know. Yeah, there's still time. I'm sure loads of people ask you this, but are you reforming for the Olympics? I Come wish. On. You I wish? wish? I would love to do it. I've never been approached, so I don't know where the story came from. I don't mm. know if there's any truth in the rumour, but it's, it's, never, it's never got through to me, I'm okay. afraid. Well, there's always an appetite for, for you guys you know, so getting back together again, and it's constantly discussed, and, and everyone looks for an opportunity. What's the next opportunity we could start to say that maybe they would? And the next opportunity would be, of course, the Olympic Games. I know. And that's been discussed quite I a bit. I know, and I've never been approached about this. And I'm, I'm so disappointed because, of course, being sporty spice, I'm <laughs> so excited about the Olympics coming to London. You know, I know it gets a lot of bad press, as we always do, you know. But um, oh, it's amazing. It's never going to happen again in our lifetime. Yeah. You know, and so if you if, if, if you were approached, if someone did say, right, okay, girls, this is the opportunity, would you do it? I do it, yeah, would absolutely. You? What about the definitely. others? Definitely. I don't know, but you'll have to ask them. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know them better than I do. What do you think the reaction um, would be? I, you know, I think there's probably some that would love to do it, and some of them that may not be into it. Talking about um, Spice Girls, now we yes. keep reading and then we keep reading now, are you coming back for the Olympics reunion? Okay, do you know what, this is, uh, honestly, I've read the same thing as you. Yeah. Um, we haven't been approached as yet about the Olympics. Uh -huh. um, Could a spy, Spice Girls reunion tour bring you back here? Or to the London Olympics? Well, we do have... We do have our Spice Girls musical coming out this year, uh -huh. which has been written and directed by Judy Kramer, who did Mamma Mia! the musical and Mamma Mia! the movie. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll be doing some stuff together. Fingers crossed. I'm always down for a Spice Girls reunion. Uh, t for me to get my scary hair on and my big platforms, any time of day, I'd, I'd, you know, yeah, I'm a Spice Girl through and through. So oh, one last quick question, though, is anyone holding out? Because the rumour is it could be London Olympics we see you all at. Well, we do have the Queen's um, Diamond Jubilee coming up. Oh, did I really say that? Ooh. Oh, precursor, oh. there you go. All right. Heard it here. <laughs> Unfortunately not. No, there was never any truth in that rumour. So um, I would love to do that, but um, you know, I'm involved in other ways, luckily. Officer, can you move your arm, please? Mel, sir. to come home to Liverpool and it kind of it fills you with more pride really I'm very proud of being from this city I just feel so lucky that I've been able to be a part of it today a couple of days ago, Muse uh, was announced that Muse were going to be doing the, the official yeah. song Survival. I've not heard it yet. I, I can't wait to hear it. Spice Girls, are you, you going to give us a song for the Olympics? 
<laughs> and maybe 2016, it ain't gonna happen for this one. Um, no, I mean, you know, of course, us girls, we fully support Great Britain. We're proud to be British. We literally flew or wore the flag around the globe in the 90s. So, um, oh, you know, it's a great year for Britain. The Diamond Jubilee, the Olympics, what a great year. Obviously, this is a big year for sport, and as sport is vice, can we expect any involvement in the London Olympics? Yeah, well, I've been doing a little bit here and there. I've been working with the Olympic Association, and I carried the torch, which was awesome. So um, I'm just looking forward to it all kicking off now, and I've got some tickets, and I'm going to go along and support Team GB. And what about as an awesome fivesome? An awesome fivesome? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, you know, there's no plans at the moment, and it's very soon, so maybe it's too late. So Thank the Olympics you. didn't set over the pond. Yeah. Lots of rumors yeah. that maybe we will see you and some friends. I think that would be a great idea. <laughs> do, do, what, can we advance these rumors at all? Uh, well, I am going to be in London next week. Uh -huh. mm, interesting. Mm. Mm. And so will all the other Spice Girls. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And it, w it, it would be perhaps for the closing ceremonies, maybe? Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So just so we're clear, very yeah. quick, and very quickly, okay. let's say we wanted to see the Spice Girls together again. We shouldn't miss the closing ceremonies. Well, we are going to be definitely back together for December 11th, because right. that's when our musical right. launches. Mm -hmm. But performing on a stage uh -huh. is what we really want to see. We really, really want. I, I would really want that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having tea with them next week, so we'll see. All right. All right. Uh, again, Mel B, everybody. We huh? love you. <laughs>
down. Spice Girls, they're uh, back. Certainly are.
The Saturday Show with Emma Bunton. On heart. We have just done the most amazing show of our lives. We've been at the Olympics. Yeah. my girls. I love them before, but I love you even more. And I have to say to everyone listening, to your DJ Emma, she looked like a goddess. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, wow. And now, you know the other thing? This is Victoria. I was in the taxi with Emma before we got out, and I nearly just got out the car. Let me tell you, I <laughs> you felt so sick. <laughs> and Emma was so amazing, and honestly, that's how you know oh. a real friend. I was falling to pieces. and then gets back and talks, ha ha. Do you know, I've got to say though, we've got some amazing fans out there that yes. have been with us from the start and this yes. is for all of you guys. The Olympic Stadium, the atmosphere was fantastic. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know, it was, we were quite late to the party actually. It was only a few weeks before when we were approached. The Olympics is a charity based event. You don't get paid. You know, I mean, you, you pay for your own costumes, you pay for your own hair and makeup, you pay for your transport, you pay for your own flights. So to do to be part of something like that, you have to really genuinely want to do it because it's three weeks out of everybody's diary. Mm. And we had to rehearse on taxi cabs. So there was a whole insurance issue. Is somebody going to fall? Are we all going <laughs> to die? So we genuinely said to each other, OK, I want to do it. Do you want to do it? Yeah, and we all kind of agreed, and then, then, and then it was like, well, we want to do it big. We want to make an entrance, since we haven't done anything together in a while. Yeah. And we, we got together with the director, and we just kind of made it happen. It was just something that we felt as a group that we just had to do. So we just cleared our schedules. We all met in London. We rehearsed for three weeks together. We had a mini crash on the side of the car parking lot because we were on taxis. Right. So we had to kind of find a a clear car parking lot way out of London that, that nobody could see or know about. And we just had fun for three weeks. Because we were rehearsing for two weeks solid together. So in between like vocal lessons and rehearsals, we were doing diaper changes and feeding each other's kids. It was like a real family event. And you know, my costume arrived the night before. Your costume just got there the night before? The night before, I was very nervous about that. All okay. the way from Lebanon. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it fit like a glove. This outfit got flown in from Beirut, specially made for me with all my measurements, which is pretty lovely. It's kind of a bit naked-ish. Can I put that on there? Yeah. And then I made my shoes. I super glued all the stuff on it so it matched. Got to have a bit of kind of tackiness, a bit of effort, a bit of work, a bit of handcraft. And that's what I wore for the Olympics, for the closing ceremonies with my ladies. It was really nerve-wracking. We almost didn't get a rehearsal in the stadium. And of course, we were on top of the taxi cabs. Mm. So we did a diva strop and we were like, if we don't get a rehearsal, we ain't going on. And But we thought it was a health and safety issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, you know, we, we did have to have a go. We, we were very nervous about being on top of those cabs. And uh, luckily, we did get our rehearsal after putting our foot down. Was that Liam Gallagher with you? Yeah. In one of the photos? Yeah. Didn't he famous? He used to have a go at you girls. He did all the time. And he was in the dressing room next to us during the Olympic rehearsal, so we knocked on his door and said, what? And he was like, no, 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 I like you girls now. I think you're great. Oh, <laughs> you scared him. Very sweet, very <laughs> sweet guy. <laughs> I read somewhere that you had to calm Victoria down. She had a panic attack on the way there. Oh, no, I think all of us kind of looked after so each other. We, ha we got nervous at different times of the day, mm. actually. I was nervous right at the beginning. Mel was in the middle. You know, Victoria was just... So it was just lovely to have each other. Do you get nervous before a performance performance? Always. Therefore, that was kind of mega on top of it. Yeah, it was funny, you know, because we all, we all felt... We were all nervous, weren't we? And, of course, with things like Twitter now, you get a feel for what the general public is saying. And, Instantly. Yeah. yeah, and so we knew people were, you know, waiting for us and wondering whether it was going to happen and... We felt like there was quite a lot of pressure on us, but we were like, you know what? Well, luckily, we it. got nervous at different times through the day. <laughs> so <laughs> if I was nervous, then I would get support from the other girls. And when Mel was nervous, we supported her. So that was quite a good thing. One of my, my last memories of George was he came into our dressing room at the Olympics 
and he was really nervous and he was telling us how nervous he was to go out there and to perform and we being the Spice Girls we were like George you'll be fine don't worry about it <laughs> and I just thought wow you know a man of such stature and so much experience to still feel that nervous going out to perform and he was so loved we hadn't really been together as a band since social media has become what it is now mm-hmm. and you know even when we reunited in 2007 you know I, I don't know Facebook was around, but Twitter, I'm not sure, definitely no Instagram. And when we did the Olympics, I think Twitter was quite at the height of, you know, of everyone being really into it. And we could just see all of these tweets coming in from all over the world and everybody was so excited to see the Spice Girls. And, you know, we were watching that just before we went on stage. So it was pretty incredible. We traveled so much, we were so busy. And then it just felt like it was over Mm. in a flash. So I wish, we'd kind of taken it in a bit more, which we've had the opportunity to do. We did the Olympics in London in 2012. And with their experience, we said to each other, come on, this is going to be over so quickly. Let's like really look at each other and and soak it up. And we had all these wonderful visual pictures of the stadium and everything. Before we went on, we, we, you know, we we got a little huddle together and we said, you know what, this is going to be over so quickly. We have to enjoy every second and look at each other and really take it all in. And we did. We did. Didn't we? Yeah, we absolutely. Little glimpse at each other. Do you get things like free tickets for doing that? I mean, do you get in to see the events? (laughs) No, do you know what? We got two tickets for that night. (laughs) So uh, that was it. I like being in a collective thing and I'll be like, come on, girls, we can do it. You know, before the Olympics, I remember g- gathering them up and going, OK, it's a bit like a football team. And I'd say, we have got four and a, we had four and a half minutes to unite the world. Come on. You know, I like doing that. And some people, you know, we all have different parts we play. I mean, you haven't worked together in 13 years. to 14 years, yeah, right? right? OK. The Olympics, the biggest event on the planet, uh, a billion people watching. I mean, yeah. Nervous, scary? Did everybody get along? Oh, no, everybody got along. We rehearsed for two weeks. Because we were on top of taxi cabs, so nobody wanted to fall off. So we made sure that we got our rehearsal down pat. But I didn't get nervous until I was the first one to jump in the cab, and the other girls' cabs were all around the corner. And as each each one of my Spice Girls passed my cab, they were like, don't f*** it up, don't f*** it up. Because (laughs) I was the first one that had the first, yo, we'll tell you what I want. I I was the first one introducing the whole song. So I was sitting in the cab going, what happens if I actually do it up? Yeah. The whole song is yeah. kaput. Yeah. In London, the opening of the, of the London, London Olympics. Oh yeah. With the cars. And the, oh, oh yeah. I literally, I thought I was going to pass out. I, was so I thought I was going to pass out too. Yeah. I was in the taxi cab like, oh my God, I start the song off. I, dope, I, I hope I don't mess it up. The words. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were, this radio station was broadcasting from the Olympic site, obviously. Um, and I remember one of the... Um, Care, well, I forget what they're called, the, the um, people that helped and the people that helped oh, the Olympics. Yeah. There. What, they they were, call what them? were they called? There were hundreds of them volunteering. And one mm. of them ran. So after you and the girls, you were all on taxis. You, you obviously remember this, the end of the, <laughs> um, the, end of, of the Olympic ceremony. And he ran. He was assisting backstage or something. And he still had talk back on. And he ran over to us in the studio and he went, oh, my God. He said, do you know, the best bit of this is I could hear each Spice Girl. And before you all went out in your individual taxis, <laughs> you were going, love you, babe, love you, babe. And he went, they really love each other. Mm. And I just thought we were only privy to that because he could hear you all, you know, before anyone else could hear you. It's yeah. nice to know you are all genuinely fond of each other. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what? We really are. We drive each other mad. Of course we do. But we do. The care that we have for each other is so deep. If you think about what we experience together, it's crazy. And, yeah, that bond will never be broken. It's quite funny because that's really taken me back to that night. And we were, like, all there in our taxis and we could all hear each other. And, you know, we would be shouting, but Melanie B always turns the air blue before we go on stage. So I wondered what you were going to say. Yeah, did you? He didn't tell us that bit. (laughs) And it's always like, because you know what she's like. She's such a monkey. And it's like, you're just waiting for, like, the mic to go live and her to say something. And it's going to blare all over the world. Can you imagine? That's so honest of you. It could so easily have happened. so fun. What a ceremony that was, eh? Standing on top of London cabs, were you petrified? 
petrified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were. It was scary. We were doing about 20 miles an hour, which huh? doesn't sound that fast, but when you're on top of a cab, <laughs> some of us in very <laughs> silly shoes, yeah. then, um, yeah, it was quite scary, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, you kind of don't know what to expect either, even though, obviously, I think we'd rehearsed once, but yeah. you just don't know what to expect. What was it like when you went out there in front of that <gasps> enormous it was amazing, thing? wasn't it? Yeah, I say it was the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, I it, agree. It, absolutely. Yeah. It felt so special. Obviously, we were there representing our country as well. It meant so much to all of us. But yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Did you stay on top of I was, it, it was, was petrifying, wasn't petrifying, it? Petrifying, especially because really uh, a few of us were in heels, yeah. stupidly. Yeah. Um, and the cars were going so fast. Yeah. The cabs were going so fast. So, um, and we had no control over that. Everything else we kind of, you yeah. know, rehearsed, but that we had no mm. control over. But it was brilliant night, an amazing yeah. night. Were and then by all your children there? there? My little boy was in the audience, oh. and he's oh. never seen me perform before. Ever. Oh. So I just remember, like, I, didn't, I couldn't see a thing, obviously. I couldn't see him, but I just knew where he was sitting and just waved loads. Oh, and, wonderful uh, memory. Yeah, it was an incredible night, wasn't it? And then we partied yes. till yeah. very, 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 very late. Well, we've been, <laughs> Three we've been days talking later. about yeah. it, yeah, recently, and we're still high from that yeah. night. Honestly, since that night, I have not come down. Well, that's yeah. fantastic, because really. you two have experienced so much, haven't you? Because the Spice yeah. Girls have been huge around the world, and for yeah. you to say that about that night mm. is yeah. significant. Yeah. What was yeah. it like standing on top of those taxis? How secure did you feel? Because Victoria looked like she had a bit of a wobble at but one it point. Was, we all had a wobble. We all had a wobble. It, they yeah. were going like, I think about 20, 20 miles, miles an hour. Which, which is fast when hills. you're standing on the roof. Of course. Yeah. It's <laughs> the left house. Not that I had that was the scariest bit because you had no control over that. Everything else you do, yeah. but yeah, that was scary. And what about you, though? You'd be a bit tired with all the, the globetrotter you've I been know. having. We have definitely been having some fun over in the UK with the Olympics and everything. It's been amazing. To actually perform together on top of a taxi cab was pretty was scary but fun. <laughs> yeah. I promise we'll ask you about X Factor in a second, but doing that, did that take you back to that very moment? Did you feel, you know, well, 20 again? We kind of felt like, oh God, it's not rock and roll anymore. It's more like babies and us five. <laughs> but then again, we did party till 8 a.m. the next day. So we kind of made up for it. When we performed at the Olympics, it was so great. And that was us celebrating everything that we'd achieved. But I still talk to all the other girls. We're still very close. But I think that you need to, you need to know when it's time to actually say, that was great, we achieved a lot. And everybody moves on. So that enabled us to go on and play the Olympics, which was a wonderful night. And then that was the night where Victoria hung up her dancing shoes. Understandably so. I mean, you know, what she's done in the world of fashion is incredible. You know, we're all so proud of her. And she, you know, she didn't really enjoy the Olympics. I, you know, she wouldn't mind me saying she found it really difficult and she, she was really nervous. We were all really nervous, but she was nervous to the point of this is not fun, actually. Mm -hmm. You know that after the Olympics, actually, there was some all-night party at George Michael's, George Michael's house. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Big yeah. name drop there. Yeah. As yeah. you do. As, As you, you do. do. I know. How about that? I know. It was yeah. amazing, actually. I was going on holiday the next morning, just me and my little girl, and I was like, I can't. I can't go out. I've got to be up. I've got to be yeah. sensible, go to the airport. And I was like, been invited to George Michael's house? <laughs> Not going to turn that down. Yeah, I think <laughs> I could probably push through. <laughs> yeah. Manage. And the night of the Olympics... George Michael had a big house party and we went there and we stayed up till about oh, 6 a.m. Naughty girls. And I, I actually didn't take my cat suit off <laughs> until, <laughs> until I went home Once to it's bed. on, it's got to stay on. Yeah. Exactly. It was scary, but amazing night. And then we partied right through. You got bang on it afterwards, though, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> had a few drinks. Yeah, yes. Oh, yes. Look, we've got this photo. Apparently, this is George Michael's garden. Do you know what? I didn't realise when I tweeted that that I've just given away George Michael's garden. <laughs> yeah, that's his home, and I'm with Dom and uh, Liam and the other and Jerry and Mel. Yeah. Is George Michael taking it like that? <laughs> 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 I might have asked him to take the picture. Yeah. <laughs> when she been to the Spice Girls? Is she different? She's hungover. Yeah. <laughs> the next day. Tell us about the Olympics, uh, post-Olympics house party. Um, oh, George mm -hmm. was, I think everybody knows, he was such an incredible man. He was so kind and generous. And, of course, we all know how talented he was. A very good friend of Jerry's, and, and we all had the opportunity to meet him a few times. At the Olympics, he invited everyone back to his place, his beautiful home in North London. He had this big... After show party, after the Olympics, 
and yeah we were all hanging out there and it was it was wall to wall it was like the who's who of you know British entertainment it was amazing Liam Gallagher was there the boys from Muse were there Kate Moss and Naomi Campbell were there and me Emma and Mel rocked up and it was just an incredible night and again you know his generosity he laid on all this amazing food anything you could imagine to drink and we were all in his garden he had a big screen up and it was lovely Joe Boardman, what was your favourite event forward slash moment at the Olympics and why? Um, P.S. I love you, I love you. Um, the Olympics was amazing from beginning to end and beyond. I have to say it was the most exciting performance of my life and I think all of the Spice Girls lives. Rehearsals were brilliant, we had loads of fun being together, the five of us again. Being at the stadium was great, it was really exciting, meeting all the other artists like Annie Lennox, George Michael, Jesse J, Tiny Temper, Tao Cruz, um, oh my goodness everyone was there, Liam Gallagher, it was wall to wall, celebrities, musicians, legends, it was brilliant. The performance was great, the reaction in the stadium was incredible. Favourite Spice Girls song? The one you'll never tire of hearing, well, singing. Well, it's changed as oh, time's right. gone on. I mean, I'm a big ballad lover. I think we've had wonderful ballads. You know, some of our more up-tempo songs are a bit silly, um, <laughs> and I love them all dearly. But after London 2012, it has to be Spice Up Your Life, yeah. just for the memories that it evokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Spice moment are you most proud of? Do you know, I have to talk about this because I've watched a lot of the Olympics, wasn't it, mate? I yeah. loved it. 30 seconds. And four years ago, obviously, we were at the closing. I dressed up for everything. Yeah. Don't know, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On a party. On the, taxi. On the top of the taxi. It's the best thing, for me personally, we've ever done. We yeah. were representing our country. Um, it was so nerve-wracking. My little boy was in the audience, which he'd never seen oh. us perform before. And it was a really special moment. And me and Mel C were just saying the other day, we think that's our favourite moment. Talking of the Olympics, you closed with the Spice Girls, the London Olympics in yeah. 2012. Wow. What was that like? Was that one of the major career highlights for you? Do you know what? It's my ultimate, really. You know, yeah. being such a lover of sport, and I've always loved the Olympics. So that was, yeah, my absolute ultimate. We were on top of London taxis, mm -hmm. and um, in front of, I think it was like a billion people watching worldwide. And it was incredible. I mean, what a night. It was just, those memories will never leave me.